Hi everyone, welcome to educators.com. This is Shavanti, your Hadoop instructor. In this module, we are going to discuss about what is combiner and what are the advantages of the combiners in the MapReduce and how word count example works with the combiners, implementing the combiners and finally executing the combiners. So these combiners are basically a mini reducer. So what is the meaning of that? That means if you see your MapReduce program flow, we have our mappers all the mapper results, whatever the intermediate mapper output results are there, these are all the things will be going into the reducer as a input. But let's assume that we are working on a very large amount of the data, wherein huge amount of the millions of the key value pairs have been generated from the mapper output result. All these key value pairs have to be passed over the network to the reducers. That means in the real time if you consider this case, it is going to take a huge amount of the network bandwidth to pass all your mapper output intermediate key values to the reducer as the inputs. So if we use the combiners, then what we can do is it reduces the network flow because whatever we are executing at the reducer side, with the help of the combiners we can execute the same code at the individual mapper level. So what is the meaning of that? If you see the example of our word count which we discussed in our previous modules, in the left hand side we have an input file and it got divided into the input splits and here it will be having a mapper that means it emits the individual word comma one and this is where if you see the mapper output results 3 plus 4 plus 4 that means total I have 11 key value pairs have to be passed over the network for the reducer as inputs. But to reduce the network flow what we are going to do is whatever the reducer code we are executing. So as part of the word count example the reducer code is a summation. We are summing it up wherever the same keys are available. So the same code we are executing at the each mapper level. That means here I am having a hello comma one and hello comma one. Hello is repeated twice. So at the mapper level itself, I am calculating that particular thing, hello comma 2 and world comma 1. And here also in the next mapper, is is repeated twice. So instead of sending these is two times, what we are doing is we are processing this at the combiner level, so is comma 2. So like that, whatever the code is in the reducer, we are executing at the individual mappers level so that in this example, instead of sending these 11 key value pairs, we are only sending the 9 key value pairs itself. That means two of the key values are reduced. But in the same thing, if you are working in the millions of the key value pairs, obviously we will be seeing a very good performance increment. Now after that, you get the combiners, all these results will be passing into the a reducer and before that your shuffle and sort will be done. And then finally in the reducer level the same code, the summation is going to be executed. If you see this, in this combiner I am having hello comma 2 and in the last I am having hello comma 1. So the total will be 2 plus 1, 3. Hello comma 3 will be the value. So like this your whole word count will be calculated. So how exactly it differs is when we compare with the previous example is nothing but at this use of the combiner we can reduce our network flow whatever the number of key values are there the less number of key values have been sent so that we can improve the performance. 
that is the advantage of our combiners. In simple words, we are combining those records, individual uh, key value pair records, before we are sending them to the reducer itself. So that we need not send all of these details via the shuffle. So that is the advantage of our combiners. So how I can implement this word count example with the combiner is nothing but Here, a combiner does not have any other interface. That means, if you remember our mapper class, we used to extend the mapper and overwrite the map method. In the reducer, we used to extend the reducer class and overwrite the reduce method. But for the combiners, we do not have any combiner method kind of thing. So what you have to do is, if you wanted to use the combiner, you must need to extend the reducer method itself and override the reduce method itself. There is no separate things for the combiner. And also in your program, how you will be adding these combiners are nothing but in the driver class, we will be setting it up job.setCombiner class. In that combiner class, we are going to specify our reducer name itself. Because as I mentioned you, the same reducer code is going to be executed. And one more thing you need to remember. In the combiner, it is not guaranteed the execution. It can execute or it may not execute the combiner code because it is not guaranteed. If it is executed, it is going to be, you know, lessen up the records. But Hadoop framework does not guarantee the execution of the combiners every time. And also you might be having a question that can I have this combiner for each and every program? No. There are some rules. There is something called a associative and a commutative loss. So what is the meaning of the associative and the commutative loss are nothing but suppose if I am trying to find out the summation if I calculate the sum at the end of the reducers or else at the individual mapper levels and finally I am summing it at the reducer, the final results does not differ. But let's assume I am trying to find out the average or standard deviation, such kind of the thing. So if you wanted to put a combiner there, the values differs. Because if you wanted to find out the average, you must need to get all the values at the end and there at the end you have to find out the summation and the average. I mean the total sum by count that is the average. So the value differs so that you need not put any of the combiners at that place. So mostly if you are finding out the max mean and if you are finding out these uh, summation, such kind of the things you can place the combiners but don't put as part of your averages and standard deviations on the mean. So how we are implementing the combiner? As I mentioned you, none of your program is going to be changed except your driver class. You are going to add additional line called this one, the highlighted one, job.setCombiner class. Here we will be specifying a combiner class. As I mentioned you, the combiner class is nothing but a mini reducer. So the same reducer class which we are specifying it over here. That means for individual mapper, when I execute the combiner code, the same reducer code is going to be executed. That's it. Apart from this line, we will not be modifying it anywhere. But in very rare cases, if there is a chance due to write a custom combiner. In that case what you need to do is you can put a word count combiner dot class and as part of the word count combiner you must need to extend the reducer and override the reduce method itself for the combiners as well. So how do you know whether the combiner is executed or not? Let's execute our program word count with the combiners as part of our Cloudera Quick Start VM. And let's see the what is the difference between the combiners and without combiners. 
and here I have logged into my Cloudera Quick Start VM and in the Eclipse editor I have attached this program code to the video you can just download that and uh, create a new class with the combiner this one create a new class remove the package if you don't require anything just give a name as word count with combiner this is just a driver class we are updating because there is no changes in your mapper and the reducer and if you observe your uh, driver class what is the additional statement with which we will be having over here is job dot set combiner class is the one which we need to add it set combiner class so in this combiner class we are going to have our reducer definition which we need to specify that's it we are all set you can just save your program we already have the mapper word count mapper and the word count reducer only I am using it so you can directly export this particular jar file let's call it as home cloud error and word code combiner dot jar is the jar file name and here if you see this word code combiner dot jar is here and we require our uh, input file as well because we need to process our uh, word count output file and here we already have the input file called word count input is here so let's see the content hello world how is world this is the content so let's place this file into the Hadoop and we can start executing our jar file copy from local home cloud era word count input is the file I wanted to place it into the word count input HDFS1 that means I am placing that file into the Hadoop distributed file system before I start the program execution now we are all set we can directly execute a jar file Hadoop jar what is our jar file name if you wanted to give the full path you can give this our jar file name is the word count combiner is the jar this case sensitive give the correct one and what about the driver class just go to your Eclipse and the driver class is a word count with combiner where your main program is there that is your driver class so just take a copy of this so that we can use it over here and what is the input file just now we have placed our input file as a word count input hdfs1 this is the input file and if you see the output directory let's give it as a combiner output directory you can give any other name as well once this program is executed you can see the result and also you can see some more details related to the combiners in the program here our program is executed which, which is completed successfully so we can see the output but before seeing the output guys how could I know whether the combiner is used or not is nothing but you can see there are two records see this under the map reduce frameworks we call these things as the counters in the next modules we will be discussing about these file system counters, job counters, map reduce framework counters so here if you observe this combined input records and the output records what is the meaning of this is I am having the 8 input key values and when I use the combiner it got reduced to the 6 input and output key value pairs that means if it is a small as it is a small example it has reduced by the 2 of the records but if you consider it as a bigger data set millions of the records are going to be less enough to pass it over the network so that is the advantage of these combiners and if you see the output there is no change in the output so you use the combiners or not there is no change you can see your because always your results are going to be stored as part of your part file itself
yeah it is cat it is not ls ls is just for the listing so we are displaying the content of the that particular output result file so you can see the resulting part has now files let me see okay there are six zeros now it should come it is always a five zero value so if you give the six zeros it throws an array see here you can see how many times each record has been repeated each word has been repeated how is repeated twice world is repeated twice like this so this is how your combiner is going to you going to be used summary so in this module we have seen what is combiners and how the combiners are used to improve the performance by reducing the network flow and also we have discussed how to implement the combiners with the help of job dot set combiner class in the driver program and to write your custom combiners we also understand that there is no separate combiner class or combiner methods you must need to use the reducer class and override the reduce method itself for the same so based upon your scenarios where it is follows your associative and the commutative class such as your summations and the value final value should not be changed if you use the combiners or not in those cases you can directly use this combiners thank you let's catch up in the next module